Hi everyone, this is Hani from Hanielas and today I wanted to show you how to make really easy strawberry cookies. For this project you need a strawberry cutter, a very simple leaf cutter and royal icing. Uh, you're gonna need royal icing in different colors. I'm using three different shades of green, yellow and then light and darker shade of uh, pinkish red for the strawberry. You can also find all the details and links to certain products on my blog. Just follow the link in the description area under the video. Okay, let's get started. So first, uh, you need to outline and flood the cookies with lighter shade of pinkish red. And then immediately after you flood, take darker red or darker pinkish red, whatever you're using, and pipe little teardrop shapes all over the cookie. And then once you're done with uh, wet on wet piping the teardrop shapes, you have to let the cookie dry completely, I would say overnight or at least five to six hours, depending on where you're located. If it's too humid, you may want to wait longer. And then once the icing has dried, we can start with uh, adding leaves. So I'm using a leaf a green icing. And as you see, I'm not using any template, you can just freehand this Then take the yellow icing and pipe smaller teardrop shapes directly on top of the larger te teardrop shapes that you made with, uh, with darker red icing. And this is the final step for the strawberry, so you just have to let this dry and uh, your cookies are done. And here I wanted to also show you how I made the leaves. So for the leaves, I actually made a little template and using a food marker, transfer the outline of your template directly onto the cookie. And for this cookie, I'm using three different shades of green and also yellow. So I'm starting with sections. I'm going to outline and flood every other section first and then um, you need to let these flooded areas crust for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you can follow with filling remaining areas with icing and the cutter that you see here our cookie that you see here was made with a cutter from Wilton I believe they come in set of three. This is the largest from the set. If you don't have this cutter, I think you could also use round cutter. And just um, transfer the template directly on the round cutter. Okay, and now you have to let this crust, like I mentioned before, and now it's crusted so I can fill in the remaining sections with contrasting colors. And last thing you want to do is to take a pinkish red, same, same pinkish red you used for, to make the strawberry and pipe a straight line in the middle to cover the seam and just let the cookie dry or the icing dry and then we can package these 
So for the packaging, I'm using a paper basket that normally you see at the farmer's markets. They are filled with fruit. I'm just going to line it with a napkin and then uh, place the cookies inside. And then if you have a large clear bag, I actually bought this at dollar store. You can just place the basket directly in. Inside you may want to adjust the bottom and then uh, just tie it with a ribbon. I'm using raffia. Okay, so you just made pretty strawberry cookies for your next picnic party. I hope you liked this tutorial and if you like to see more of my tutorials you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like to know how to make these watermelon cookies you can also learn that on my channel. Just follow the link that you see on the screen. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.